All right, people. So we got another banger video today. It's uh, McDonald's. We've got some very, very finicky customers who think it's a great idea to disrespect McDonald's employees. We also have McDonald's employees think it's a great idea to say that the food is fresh when we claim that most of it is frozen and shit. So there's a lot of deception. There's a lot of garbage in this video. Of course, it's coming from McDonald's. What else do you expect? So here we go. Let's go ahead and play it and then you guys can hear it uh, for yourself. And uh, it's actually kind of really strange and uh, kind of sad at the same time. Uh, I can't even believe I'm witnessing this kind of crap anymore. But it is out there, people. And uh, if you have seen these videos, let me know in the chat. And if you are new, obviously subscribe for more. Let's go ahead and listen to it. If you're refunding my money, you have to give me cash. Oh you guys so he just said he's refunding. You're refunding my money, you need to give me cash. That's not true. If you're using a debit card, then the debit card will be refunding back to your card. There's no such thing as card and you get cash back. This isn't fucking a bank or something or, or Amazon Prime cash back percentage card. It doesn't matter. It is a matter, want, sir. If you're if you're telling it is me, a matter, sir. If you're telling me you're not giving me my food, I want my money back. I didn't cash. Saw that. Okay, so yeah, not cash, but debit card refunded back. That's fine. I'm not giving you your food. I just request you guys hey, to fresh you food, right? Okay, so it's not fresh food. It's McDonald's. We all know it's trash. Okay. Fresh I don't, I don't want to park. Celebrity McDonald's. This is Emma I'm not. Alberta. And then this woman in, in the in the passenger side, yeah, the third party seat, she's saying, "Oh, this isn't Celebrity McDonald's." Like she's she's basically going to disrespect this this worker here. Listen, Girl, okay? I'm not You're parking. In Edmonton. Where are you from? Parking my where car. Are you, where are you from? Where are you Shut from? The are you from? Up, get a career. Seriously. Do for your life. Seriously. You're so sad. It's Seriously. So she's saying, "Get a career." You're so sad. She's disrespecting her job. So, well, who the one is asking food? You are. So, you know, you're the one that's reliant on them. So you can't disrespect a company that you're reliant on. You know, if you love the shitty food so much. It just... People out there are clueless sometimes. They are really strange. Society has so, got so many mixed up people. What a massive chaotic place to live. Seriously? Now, anyways, grab us that, food. Okay, okay. Out. I was so nice to you, you guys. Why are you, you, why you, are you using ass words for me? Even the employee says she was being nice to them. And then the woman over there, the Karen, is being disrespectful. I swear this world has got a trillion Karens out there. And they're just, everything you say, they just overreact to every little thing. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know why you're talking to the passenger of my vehicle when I ordered the food at the window. And I'm telling you that I don't want to park in reserve stall number two. And they are using a word for me like single time. You guys listen to her. You're telling me that you want me to park. You're telling me that you want me to park. You're telling me that you want me to park because you're on a timer to make your time good at McDonald's. I don't care. That's exactly the normal procedure at McDonald's. You, everyone parks while their food or there's a problem gets resolved. It's not a big deal. This guy is blowing things out of proportion. His little Karen in his passenger side of his little car also is blowing things out of proportion. And the employee, she's trying to do her job and trying, trying to stay calm and trying to follow procedure. I don't care about your time at McDonald's or how long it takes to make my food or about your timing. I ordered food. I want my food. If you're not giving my food, give me my money back. Of course. I'm giving money back. You guys tap your card. You I lost. You guys tap your card. I lost. I lost my debit card. Now, how is he saying I lost my debit card? He used a debit card. So how did he just lose it like within a millisecond? I don't understand. Sorry, I can't find. Oh my it. God, the lady just tapped on her phone. I know, so but I lost it. I me. can't find. She hasn't lost it because she just used it. So the, these customers are very scandalous. No, I'm sorry. Cash back to me. We're not I'm moving. not giving cash. Oh, we're not moving. We have you all on camera. You have oh, no wow. I have a camera too. Yes. Whatever you guys said, no. F word for me. It's going to be a big lawsuit tomorrow. Like I'm telling you right now, I'm pulling my lawyer. Like you and McDonald's is getting sued big time. So you're coming for a $20 meal and you're going to sue a company. That's just a waste of everyone's resources. The, the lawyers will look at you and laugh. The lawyers will literally say, there's no case here. Get out of here with that crap. I'm more into people tripping over glass and breaking their head open and there's a million dollar lawsuit versus a $20 meal at McDonald's. What if, oh, these guys are clueless. Yeah, 100%. Did I say something wrong to you guys? Your whole family's going to go back no. to... Nothing to do with this guy's an absolute buffoon and his wife or his girlfriend next to him is an apt or sister, whatever she is to him, is an absolute idiot as well. 
This is unbelievable that this happens. I don't even. If I was behind this guy or girl in a car, I would tell them to hurry the heck up and get on with it and get out of here. You know, I wouldn't even like waste time. But I wouldn't be seen dead in a McDonald's drive-thru unless they have plant options, which they still haven't got in the United States because the United States is so slow with everything compared to Europe. I don't know why you're talking to my passenger, and but anyways. Where my family lives? Seriously? Well, shut up, you're having a meltdown. Work. You're, you're here to get paid to get work. Get off the phone and work. Why are you I do. Phone? I do work. What are you doing? You well, don't look work at you guys. You guys don't listen to me at all. If you guys, you need a money back, I said you guys money, you tap your car to get your money back. The employee is literally telling them what to do to get their money back to help them. And this customer is one of the most stubbornest customers I've ever witnessed in my life. This is ridiculous. How hard is it to reach across with a freaking piece of plastic, tap the car, get your money back and get the hell out of Dodge and leave this poor woman alone? Like this is, this is borderline harassment. Just like yesterday's video was. Don't worry, I got 50,000 followers on Instagram. I'm gonna post this video. And now this guy's bragging about his little tiny followage on Instagram. That's nothing. That's middle school follow followers. That's nothing for Instagram. You can't brag that number and think that's like something to talk about. That's embarrassing. I wouldn't even reveal my follow account if it was that low. This guy's an absolute idiot. You're like, I don't care about it. You're like, this I is going viral. Get my cash then. I want this isn't going to go viral very, very quick. Yeah, it's going to go viral through Reddit, most likely, because someone else shared it. Oh my cash. You didn't pay cash. You paid with a debit. It wasn't you manager. You're losing. It wasn't my debit card. I don't have a debit card. Oh, uh, how do you pay, sir? I, did, I, I tapped on the phone. Yeah, you can tap on I, I don't have the phone. I'm sorry. Exactly. He tapped on the phone. So he knows exactly what he's doing. He's a moron. He's just doing it to piss people off. Sorry. You can, oh, that's the lady phone, right? You can tap she it She doesn't want to tap her phone. She wants the money. Wow. Seriously, you guys. Wow. You can't rip me off for my money. Like, that's theft. I, I can phone the police. I, I can phone the police and have you charged you with can theft. Call, you can call, sir. I, I will. I will. I will call, call right the police. Absolute waste of everyone's time just because they couldn't get the food on time and they wanted to get cash back instead of getting their money back onto their card, which is a similar thing, by the way. It's still the same currency that's deflating like crazy through the bank system. And, you know, the moronic society is just, oh, God, this is too much sometimes. All right, people, if you, in, uh, if you found this video annoying, give it a thumbs up, please. Like I found this video very annoying. So thumbs up if you found this video very annoying. Thank you. If you're new, subscribe. See ya.